Perfect. So as you can see, I am in full PPE. So because of COVID, I'm, I'm actually, I did, I did, didn't I wear full PPE, Christine, before? Yes, yes, you did. Yeah. So my sister is uh, recording this. Uh, she's also a dyer. Just say hello, Christine. Hi, everyone. Yeah, so why is, Christine, tell us why PPE is very, very important. Well, PPE is very important. It protects the patients and the podiatrist yeah. from any uh, possible infection. Perfect. Okay, of COVID nineteen. Yeah, so of, of any type of of, of type of well, of COVID nineteen in this case, but actually <laughs> any, any type of infection, infection is actually a, a very uh, important rule from the College of Podiatry. Yeah. it's one of the clinical regulations. Yeah. very very important. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right, Tina. So Tita. what we're doing here today is we're going to remove this bad 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 toenail. So this toenail has gone to hell and back. I think. <laughs> yeah, would you say that? Do you want to explain to people about your toenail? No, she's, <laughs> she's, she's, you had an operation, right? Yes. Yeah, five years ago. More. More, long time ago. And obviously, yeah, it was for ingrown toenail. Yes. Yeah. And, and unfortunately, one of the side effects of the ingrown toenail surgery is that deformity of the nail. So as you can see, it's really deformed. So what we're going to do today is we're going to remove it. We have already had some local anesthetic and we have got some new green tunicars. So tunicars is to stop the blood circulation. So what I'm going to do is loosen the nail from the nail root. So I really anesthetize it. You can see from the top of the toe there, there's no more nail bed. And the nail deviates at, at one angle. So by removing this nail, we're going to see um, what it does to be honest. But what we can see is there's lots of debris underneath the nails that you can see there. So we're just going to go in at this kind of angle. And then we're just going to twist and pull, twist and pull. This is actually not as easy mm -hmm. as I thought. Mm -hmm. We're just going to loosen everything up so you can see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on the side. Mm -hmm. You see, that is quite bad. Are you alright? Yes, yes. That's good. So we've got loads of just bad nails, bad skin. Bad, just bad. Bad, 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 bad. bad, bad. So you can see there, that is not one pretty looking nail. The nail itself is quite thick, so you can see. And then, but the, the base of the nail is quite thin, which is a good thing. Mm. Okay. Let me just have a look and see if there's some debris here. Just cleaning down everything. See what's going on. That's a lot of that's a lots of nail but damage here. So it's not that much bleeding, which is good. Like it's dipped. Just thinking if there's anything I can do. Mm. Maybe too far, but it's so damaged. Just to clean everything mm. off. Did they do a full surgery? I guess they did the, the full surgery where they cut out the sides and they stitch it back together. Mm -hmm. This is not good at all, is it? This, this is not even... Well, let's hope... So 
so you might think, hey, this looks a lot better, and that, hey, that actually looks like a toenail, but that is actually the nail bed. And this is probably one of the worst cases I've seen in terms of nail bed damage. Usually you have a bit of a slope, but here you actually have a, a very deep nail bed there. So I'm not sure if you can see, it's so deep, right? There's nothing really I can, if I try to lop this section off, it's just gonna cause too much damage, and that the new nail that goes out might not even attach. So really, in theory, maybe when we grow the nail, it will just be this this area, and then we leave that open, so that potentially that won't cause any infection or anything like that. So unfortunately, there is significant damage on this toenail. So the surgery is done. What we're gonna do is we're gonna dress it up. Flat return. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then drop the pad, please. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, so we put an antiseptic dressing on and some padding. Tapes, please. Thank you. one tape and then the two be grip. So what I'm doing is just making sure that it's secure. Um, I personally like big dressings, thick dressings, so that, uh, yep, you can put that, put that on, so that the, um, the area fun. is protected. That's all right. <laughs> Just one more, one more tape, just for the bottom, please. Let's see that for yeah, now. Yeah, that's fine. Stay on. Perfect. And then we'll do one on the bottom. Yeah, that's fine. Right. And then just one more. Right, like that. Yeah. So we like it to secure. We put more tape on it so that when you walk and things like that, it doesn't move around and it's thick so that it can protect the toe. So that if you bang it, you've got some protection. Oh, just I think in, the, side, in America, yeah. they like to put very thin oh. dressing on. Nothing wrong with that, but I like, that? Oh, yeah. I like bigger dressing. Yeah. So Anna's just putting the, the dressing on. Uh, Anna just trying to put up. Yeah, dressing. and she's doing very, very well. She don't feel like that, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Perfect, Anna. And just one yeah. more on the oh. side. So the surgery is done now. So what we're gonna do is probably see you in a this work. Uh, we'll see you in a couple of, of days for redressing, and then we'll talk about how we progress from there. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And then just roll that down. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much. Excellent. Okay, so Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye bye. bye. See ya. Bye. bye.